Hi, this is Tim with Cisco, and today we're going to take a look at some best practices for virtual account tagging. If you're not familiar with the basic concepts of smart accounts and smart software licensing, because this is a best practice video, it's assumed that you have that basic understanding. Follow the notes section, and there's some links to resources that will help get you up to speed. We're going to be covering some more advanced topics on things like naming your tag values and how to use virtual account tagging. Are you ready to go? Me too. We'll start off on Software Central. That's software.cisco.com, your primary location for managing your downloads and upgrades, configuring network plug and play, managing your licenses, ordering software from Cisco, and administration for your smart account. We'll be spending most of our time in the Manage Smart Account section. This is where you'll find the virtual accounts that are within your smart accounts. And a virtual account is basically a folder that you can keep licenses in. Now, as your smart account grows, you may find the need to add additional virtual accounts. And what we're gonna be doing here is showing you how to group virtual accounts together based on a tag value. And this will make it much easier when you're doing things like configuring user groups. You won't have to add virtual accounts altogether. Now, in order to create a custom tag, click on the Custom Tags tab, and then follow the link to create a new tag, New Virtual Account Custom Tag. You'll want to give the tag name something significant so you remember exactly what it's for. Now, you notice that the virtual accounts that we had in this particular smart account were based on location. So we're going to create a custom tag that will group specific virtual accounts by location. So we'll call this tag name locations. And maybe the description is we want to remind ourselves that this is for our global locations. Are you ready for tip number one? You'll be presented with an option to make it mandatory for all virtual accounts. Tip number one adds some additional flexibility. If you choose optional, this means that you won't have to tag every single virtual account when you do this. Adding multiple tag values will also allow you to go back and add new tag values to the virtual accounts. Follow the mouse over if you need a reminder for what those are for. Tip number two. Base your tag values on your virtual account structure. Look for some type of commonality, then define your tag. So in other words, adding a tag value for global sites might be a little too broad. So let's try and narrow this down. Having a tag value for North America is more specific, but let's say we've got individual sites within North America that we want to track, maybe by state. California might be the sweet spot. So think about how your virtual accounts are structured. If it's by location, then group them by location. If it's by customer, then group it by customer or by technology, then you'll want to configure your tag value for that. Now we can simply add the virtual accounts that are specific to California, Monterey, San Jose, and Santa Cruz. So keep the optics in mind. You want to be specific, but not too specific. Let's add another site for Ohio. And then we can select the virtual accounts that make sense for that particular tag. Cincinnati, Cleveland, and down at the bottom here, Youngstown. Notice how the flow is starting to take form with the locations that we're selecting. And you'll begin to notice how the interface stacks the tag values that we're creating. Let's add one more for England then all we'll need to do is add the virtual accounts that we want to tag for England, Bristol, London, and Manchester. And now you're ready for tip number three. Be specific, but not too specific. When you're creating your tag values, keep in mind the virtual accounts that you have today and try and group them in areas that make sense. So rather than having one tag value for global locations, Break it up into smaller chunks that make sense on how your virtual accounts are structured.
So if you're not seeing commonality in your virtual accounts, you may want to go back and revisit how you structure the virtual accounts and make sure that you've got them in ways that you can group them to get the best value out of assigning tags to them. When you're all finished, don't forget to save. And if you'd like to go back and make changes, you can always select the custom tag, change your description, change your name, and also you can change the tag value management. So if you want to add or delete virtual accounts or delete the group altogether, you can do that as well. So let's see how this looks in practice. User groups is the best spot for you to take advantage of virtual account tagging. And a user group allows you to configure access for multiple users and multiple virtual or smart accounts. So here we have a user group for our North America data center engineers. And you can see right now that we don't currently have any virtual account roles that are assigned to this particular user group. And that's what we're going to set up now. So if we go back to the management section and slide to the right, click on I want to dot 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 manage virtual account access. The first thing you'll notice is that the virtual accounts you currently have are listed there. But the whole point of having the tag is to be able to group them. So click on by tag and then we can reference it by tag value, California, England, and Ohio. When you choose the tag value, scroll down to the bottom and you'll notice that the virtual accounts for that tag group are listed there, Monterey, San Jose, and Santa Cruz. So if I'd like to assign a role, let's say an admin role for those virtual accounts, you'll notice that the tag value gets moved over to the right-hand side, which is the selected virtual accounts. Let's go ahead and add England and we'll provide admin access there. You'll notice that gets added to the right in the same grouping for locations. But let's say we wanted to add an additional access for Ohio and the three virtual accounts we have in there for user privilege. You'll notice how the interface stacks admin versus user and the location tag values that we've identified. When you're finished, don't forget to scroll to the bottom and click on apply. So instead of assigning virtual accounts one at a time when you're creating a user group, you can use custom tags to group virtual accounts together to make it faster and easier for you to assign access in those types of areas. Okay, so let's recap. Tip number one, when you're creating your virtual account tags, remember to select optional. Unless you have a specific need to add tags to all of your virtual accounts, the optional choice is gonna be more flexible for you. Tip number two, base your tag values on your virtual account structure. Look for commonality, then define your tag. For example, if most of your virtual accounts are created by location, then create a tag group that reflects that location. If it's by customer, then create a tag group based on customers. Or technology, then choose technology. If your virtual accounts are totally random, then I suggest you take time to review your virtual account structure before continuing with tags. Just be aware of the optics when defining your tag values. Categorizing in one area that's too large may make it too general, or you may go to the other extreme of having it way too specific. The point is, try and find the sweet spot that's right in the middle. And that takes us to tip number three, be specific, but not too specific. Was this video useful to you? If so, let us know and give us a like or add your comments if you'd like to see additional topics. All of this is available at Software Central. That's software.cisco.com.